Hello. You can this is Thank you for being human. here. Okay, let him ask. Um, hello. Um, sorry if I'm not as articulate as I could be. Um, it's weird to see you guys in person. Um, I am kind of interested in the wordplay, specifically Charlie, because I've seen the most of you online, uh, but also Candice, if I'm afraid I have, I have nothing to like ask, but specifically Charlie. Um, a lot of you, the wordplay you use um, and a lot of the sources that you draw on, like the statistics, you're very good at just like, ramping off statistics and throwing them into the person that you're arguing. Um, I was wondering, where do you collect your sources? Uh, and do you make them easily accessible? Uh, of course. Would you like to name an example that I can cite for you now? Um, I don't question that the things that you're saying are factual. It's more how they are phrased and how they are put to us. So, for example, the thing that you've just said now about abortion. Mm -hmm. Could you quickly remind me so I don't trip over my sure, own Sure, I'll do the first one. I say, a celebration of a pregnancy, why do we call that event a baby shower, not a fetus shower? Right. So... That in itself sounds like, oh, right, well, that means there's a cultural acceptance of the idea that it's a, a baby pre-birth. But that's just a linguistic, cultural way. So I call it, I'm pro-choice, for example, but I would still call it a baby shower. That doesn't mean I culturally accept the idea that it's a baby pre-birth. So I'm just using a linguistic there's standard. Meaning. There's deeper meaning. Now, let's play this out. It's fun. Um, so if the individual that has the baby shower decides right after the baby shower to have an abortion, what is that inside of her called? I don't want to do this, if that's all right. I don't want to do no, abortion. I know, but you see all of a sudden can, your I, can I use a different up? example of abortion is kicking up too much dust? Say that again. Can I, can I use a different example sure, of a fact? Fine, okay, so uh, the first thing I saw with you in was your political debate with Hassan. Yeah. Um, that was the first thing I saw of you. Um, and you said, uh, you'll probably still remember it, but it was that uh, the, sorry, the worst 10 cities in America were run by Democrats. Democrats. Yeah, the poorest, most murderous. Yeah. Right. So I looked it up because I wanted to read up on it, and there wasn't a source in the video mirror I'd seen. And that was correct. But it was also correct that of the top 10 cities, most of them were Democrat. And across the board, on average, most cities are Democrat. So the fact that you took it out of the entirety of the fact, which is that most cities are Democrat, the top best cities are Democrat, and the worst cities are Democrat, and you chose to only say that the worst cities are Democrat. The top best cities are Democrat? Well, so he means uh, the most prosperous, he means the wealthiest. In the but, same way that, yeah. So but, the, city, the study that I found that mirrored your statistic said that. So, uh, so cities tend to be more, urban areas tend to be more to the left, just as they are, but when Republican mayors are actually allowed the chance to govern, the results are remarkable. Um, and so let's juxtapose cities versus states, or even in the, if you want to extra extrapolate what my argument was really talking about. In the laboratory of democracy theory, which we all believe in, which is when certain states are allowed to have juxta juxtaposed policies and contrast against each other, you see huge differences. So the most prosperous, most job-creating, most entrepreneurial states are ones with Republican governors and low-tax, low-regulation type policies. And there is a correlation between the most murderous, the most dangerous, and the most... Um, honestly, hopeless areas, and Candace grew up in one of them, are almost always dominated by Democrats. But when those Republican policies are actually allowed to be instituted, those communities turn around quite quickly. So. Uh, and another one was that you said, I think it was the life expectancy in Cuba, mm -hmm. was 15 years lower than that in the United States. Yeah, if, if the government doesn't kill you, right. Right, democide. But um, I, I looked it up as well, and I found there was no information on that. And in fact, the, the Google definition, which draws on... Uh, it cites, you know, many different studies and it fills it all in and it pulls it all together. Um, and it chooses the most reasonable response that's backed up by facts and logic. Uh, <laughs> um, it said that it was actually a year older than the US. So I just, so how, how do you, especially point. when you're, like, I think it's called gall galloping, when you're throwing so many points in a debate, do you not think it's unfair and unreasonable and maybe at points even manipulative to be phrasing things in a certain way that might be when beyond scrutiny, it's like me who had to Google all of these statistics, which pan out to be not as obtrusive and anti-left as, as, as you say they are. Do you not think that's at, at, the, at the worst incompetent and at, at the best incompetent and at the worst malicious? So you're, enti you're entitled to your own opinion, not entitled to your own facts. Let's talk about the Cuban one. I reject the own Cuban government's health statistics completely and totally. Um, I don't believe the socialist governments of Cuba's health statistics that they submit to the World Health Organization or the United Nations because objective independent analysis of their own health standards 
are nearly 20 to 30 years behind life expectancy that their own government produces. So what you're looking at is corroborated by people that want it to be true. And we can have, we can have a 30 minute discussion over whether you believe the Cuban health statistics, but the answer is show me another statistic of anything I've talked about in the 300 hours that Candace and I have done you know, public speaking. Everything I talk about, everything I do is rooted in years of research and backing and data, and I'm happy to talk about each specific one. I don't want to monopolize the time here, um, but I reject the premise and the insinuation that somehow I'm being reckless um, because facts are not reckless. In fact, it's the basis of why we're here and why what we believe. Uh, you, you successfully pivoted away from the intention of my question, which wasn't the factual nature of the statements you were saying. It's right. the way so, that you phrased them. So I phrased them effectively and that, I, that should be a problem? No, it's not. About, <laughs> effectively, as defined by you, as in it promotes well, you your agenda. Said so that in they, you you, I, you pivoted I, quickly I away from the I abortion finish, thing. Can I please finish my... Huh? Happy to. Yeah. Uh, I pivoted away from the abortion thing, not because I didn't want to talk about it, but because it made me uncomfortable to do so. Um, do, you think I did a, do you think it's effective the way I worded it? Because maybe it made you think a way you never had to think before? The point is, like, I could do this for every, I could do that for every uh, issue. It's more that, so you say, like, oh, we shouldn't trust the Cuban health statistics because they've Correct. got an agenda to promote. And that probably makes a lot of sense. But similarly, there are people who whose prime objective, uh, as if they're still stuck in McCarthyism, is to obliterate any form of socialism and communism as, a, as, an, uh, as an opposition to free market capitalism. And so, mm -hmm. similarly in the same way that we shouldn't trust the authorities in Cuba. Uh, just, okay, so I just, okay. if, this is, if at the root of this is capitalism versus socialism, is there an example where socialism has, is really thriving and worked? as a concept, like, this is what I don't understand. It's, it's weird to me when people come up to this discussion and it's like, the, at your core, you're just what, defending socialism, defending Cuba, defending, what, what are you defending? That's not the, the, the root of my question. I get what you're saying is, is he phrasing things in a way I'm that maybe aren't fair because you could find something on the internet that maybe supports communism and socialism. That's, that's essentially what you're saying, right? No, you're mischaracterizing me, actually. Okay, how am I mischaracterizing um, you? You're mischaracterizing me because you've generalized what I'm saying, which is that I've looked into talking points that Charlie's raised. I right. found the exact can you, uh, that I found the exact studies that he's referenced and know that they do because they actually mirror the things that he's, he's said verbatim. So they're cited. And I, huh? So I do use studies, is what you're saying. I, I never said you didn't, well, Charlie. I, I, I'm, I, I'm not sure where you're coming well, from. I, I'm, that's why I'm saying do, do, do I'm actually, I'm, I'm not mischaracterizing you. You're, I, I get what you're saying. You're saying, Charlie, he's saying that you say facts, but there are also al alternative facts that would maybe present socialism and communism in a better way. It's unfair because of the way he's saying them, not because of... Because what, from what I'm getting, is you're saying that well, he's... Well, called a debate. Yeah, essentially what you're saying is he's too good at presenting his argument. No, because, no, no, because you're saying... No, let me finish, let me finish. You've, been just saying, you've just said, he, you went and looked over the things that Charlie said, you found them to be backed by studies, which would mean they were factual, so he's not lying, he's not mischaracterizing or using, fat, or using wrong data. Let me finish, let me finish. You've been allowed to talk for a while now. And then, but the way he presents him in an argument when you say he's galloping may maybe make his opponent afraid to talk. Or I, don't, I don't know what it does basically to basically wants However, to, to the argue line with himself. Is, the, yeah, the bottom line is you're saying Charlie's using facts. I don't get how that can be a disagreement. Well, that Charlie uses facts in his arguments. You're saying that he's not presenting up, other facts like, that, would, that would defeat his debate. Yeah. So you're basically saying he should do also the job of Charlie Kirk and whoever's debating him, him which is just the same time. That's, what I'm, that's essentially what you're saying is that Charlie should say, okay, you should look at a socialist country and say Venezuela people are killing their pets to eat food, etc. However, in this They're situation, well. they had really good weather and it was sunny, etc. I don't, I don't understand how you want him is one side of the yeah give me i'm gonna finish and by the way I, another good use of this time would have been if you actually had the alternate facts, facts and just debated and just, charlie just said yes and said, <laughs> while you were here as opposed to debating the concept there's no point having charlie your own opposition without actually getting the facts yourself to come and debate rather than saying he uses facts too well yeah final point and i'll let my attorneys answer the rest of the question again you <laughs> again you've you've mischaracterized what i'm truly saying here which is that you're not trying to genuinely convince people. You're, you seem to be, from the presentation of the facts that I've given you as an example, phrasing truths in a very specific way and choosing to ignore things that present it on a more balanced, in a more balanced way to basically trick people, right? That's li no, 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 no. Please let me finish. 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 Can I finish? Please let me finish. They argue their opinions. Look. Fact. No, seriously. Hear me out, man. Facts Hear are unfair. Out. Facts, right? Facts don't care about your feelings, right? Facts are objective Amen. statehoods, right? But right. the way that you choose to present them, right? It's like saying if a statistic is 
you can't just rearrange the 68 to say 86, right? Hear me out, because that is just lying. In you could rearrange it to say 32, no? You could rearrange it to say 32, the other way around. Those are both factual statements. If you say 68 to 86... Do I need the mic? I can hear me. Um, <laughs> all right, sure. Um, the way that you're choosing to... Pr pr the way that you're choosing to talk about statistics, the things that you're choosing to neglect that present things in a more balanced way indicates that your objective here isn't to convince people based on the whole truth, but in fact to play off of people's inability to quickly respond by asking for sources. Like if you provided a source, sheet, oh, I, I'm struggling to articulate this, but it's just with the example I gave you about the Democrat cities, right? That's a pretty condemning. That's a pretty condemning statistic that the yeah. worst cities, to so, summarise, so, are mostly democratic. Yeah, but you I didn't can, present go. the whole statistic, and that was a very purposeful choice. If you look up that study, Charlie's that is not the evidence going to debate presented. himself. I don't under. This is very because confusing it's not to a me. game, Candice. Is but it? no, it's but you just game. said when he goes on campuses and he debates with people that he's not presenting facts that are that would that would what try to destroy the fact that he just gave like all like this is that's the no, concept the same of the debate. Fact, Candace, I don't see what you're that's not understanding. That's why it's called the debate. It's because it's not about, it's the, the point of a debate, if you care about humanity, if you care about improving people's welfare, should be to prevent, to be, to present objective facts based on independent studies and Charlie decide does. what the, which, which is what I Charlie do. does, but choosing to neglect, choosing to neglect the entirety of the factual statement. Okay, I think this is right? now turning into like a Yelp review of Charlie Kirk and I'm not, I'm not really getting Because he's an influential it. man and, he's, and his practices and I all, get everyone's it. practices need I get to be scrutinized it, but I'm saying and yours is, are semantically I wish you actually had, I wish you actually would just debate no, Charlie. That would I think would be more yeah, productive closing, for everybody I here. I do appreciate you coming up and saying this. I will issue a challenge to the world. Anyone can come prepared with any hundreds of pages of documents to debate me and I wish them well. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.